offering a lot of versatility for a multitude of adventures. The Deuter ACT Trail Pro 38 SL Pack is going to be perfect for anything from day hikes, day trips, to multi-day backpacking trips uh, for ounce counting backpackers. There's a lot of different features here and we'll take a look at all of the different features and what makes this pack so special. The first thing to talk about with any backpack is the suspension system and how it carries the load. So I'm gonna turn the pack around, talk about the harness, the back panel. Um, here you've got Deuter's Air Contact Trail Back System. So if I peel back the shoulder harness here, um, you can see that this area right in the middle is really ventilated. This is the air contact system. It allows the middle of your back to have a lot of breathability so you don't develop hot spots. Um, it's gonna keep the heat down. It's going to help you not um, sweat as much. So this is you know, definitely really important. But on either side of that ventilation, you have really nice padding. And the padding is uh, supportive, it's cushiony, but it also has a lot of breathability. Um, so that also helps with perspiration. And you do have a rigid but very um, lightweight and also flexible back system, you know, behind the scenes here. So that's going to transfer the weight really well to, the, to your hips. Um, it is a supportive Delrin frame. So, you know, they keep the weight down with that, but it offers a lot of support. So you can't really see that there, but it's, it's back here uh, behind this back panel. Your shoulder harness. Very nicely formed uh, shoulder straps here. I do want to point out that the SL in the naming of this pack stands for slim line. And any Deuter pack that has SL in the naming is referring to um, a more of a women's specific pack. So here what they've done is the torso length in general is a little bit shorter. It's going to accommodate torsos from 15 inches up to 19 inches. You don't have actual adjustability with the torso length, um, but you do have adjustability with these load lifter straps. So if you need the torso um, to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, you have adjustability there. Um, but with this light weight of a pack, you don't necessarily need all of that dialed in fit. Um, again, with the SL, you've got shorter length in the actual shoulder straps here. You've got a little bit smaller buckles and the actual distance between the shoulder harness here, the, the two different straps in the shoulders are a little bit um, more narrow. Going down to the hip belt, you have a little bit more shaping in the hip belt. So that's just gonna accommodate women's frames a lot better. Um, I've found these packs to be very comfortable and just with all of the padding here, you've got really nice padding and really nice ventilation in these straps as well. On the straps, you have an adjustable sternum strap. Really easy to adjust. It has a little bit of flex to it, which is nice as you're hiking and as you're breathing. Down at the hip belt, it's a lightweight hip belt, but it provides padding in the places where you need it the most. So it's got pad a little bit more padding up here, um, a lot of ventilation through that hip belt, and it's definitely a more substantial hip belt than I've seen on packs in this size, 38 liter pack. Um, would normally have a smaller, maybe not as supportive hip belt, but this is gonna support a lot of weight. It's gonna carry the load really comfortably. And um, the way that they have designed the straps on the hip belt is really easy to cinch down, really easy to make adjustments. While we're back here, might as well mention there's a pocket on either side of the hip belt. This is a stretchy pocket. So store small items that you want to get your hands on quickly. And the top lid of this pack also has an accessible pocket right there. Um, you know, shallow pocket, but easy to get your hands on your lightweight gear. If I turn the pack around, we can see all the other features. I will mention that it is hydration compatible, so you can route the hose out of the middle of the back here. On both sides of the pack, you've got a, you have a stretchy pocket here, or I just have a water bottle. On the other side, there is a nice um, pocket here where you could store a water bottle in that side or any item that 
is a little bit smaller that you want to get your hands on. So it's a really nice, easy access pocket there. When you're not using it, it's really streamlined and out of the way, but it's nice to store some extra gear there. Here in the front, you have a pretty shallow pocket. I call this a map pocket. So I just have a little map in there. Pockets about that big. So small items, shallow items in that pocket. And this strap right here is really convenient for compressing the size of the pack. I mentioned this is a great pack for mul multiple different uses. So if you're just going out for a day trip and you don't have this packed out completely, you can really use this strap to cinch down the pack and cinch down the load so it doesn't look like a big pack. But I've got it packed out pretty well now and you can really get a lot of use and a lot of volume out of this pack. So lots of great uses. There's also compression straps here on the bottom and here on the top. If I open this lid, there is a pocket underneath of this lid, so a nice little hidden pocket there. And it is a top-loading pack. So, really nice open pocket there. You can get hands on your gear really easily. And then this is where the hydration sleeve is as well, so easy access to that hydration sleeve. Here on the front, you have a really nice stash pocket. And right now, I just have an extra layer in there, but you can see there's a lot of space for gear. I can see this being a great space for a helmet or a harness or something like that, where you want to get your hands on it quickly, but it's really easy to stash away. And this pocket is stretchy, so again, a lot of volume right there, but if you're not using this pocket, you can cinch that down. Stand out feature here, that I really like about Deuter packs is you have a really big U-shaped zipper um, and access from the bottom is really easy. So you can just open that up and expose the gear that's in the bottom and the top on the sides of your pack. So you can really get your hands on gear all throughout the pack and eliminates the need to have like a lower sleeping bag compartment and this is also great for travel, so it opens up like a piece of luggage. And then you can cinch those buckles down. Really easy access there. And then down on the bottom of the pack, there's an integrated rain cover, so that adds a lot of value to this pack. There are plenty of attachment points to lash gear on the outside of the pack. And the strap here in the front is extra long. You can really open this up and because this lid is adjustable here, that would be a great spot to either drape a rope or put a sleeping pad and cinch that down. It's a great strap right there. And then moving to the bottom, there's tool loops down here. Um, there's places where you can attach trekking poles. So right here, you've got a nice trekking pole loop. This is also a tool loop and some loops on the other side. So definitely multi-use. You can put a lot of different types of gear onto and inside of this pack. With all the different features of this pack, you can use it in many different ways. It'll be the perfect companion for your next adventure. It's the Deuter ACT Trail Pro 38 SL Pack.